Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hanging Out with Heather. I have a great show today. I have Lisa Verbruge with me. She is the owner of Believe in Beauty, and she does everything. She is a makeup artist, a massage therapist, a hairstylist, and so much more. So, Lisa, welcome to the show. Hi, Heather. How are you? Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I'm happy to have you. So tell us how it all began. When did you first know you wanted to get into the beauty business? Ever since I was a little girl, um, I would watch my mom. She did hair and makeup. So I was always around it. And I knew I had issues when I started sleeping with my pocketbook full of makeup. <laughs> so um, I took that pocketbook everywhere to school. I slept with it. Most little kids have uh, a blanket or a stuffed animal. And I had a pocketbook full of makeup. And um, I'll never forget, in fourth grade is when I really started like putting it on. And it was scary. I actually put it on like an adult. And my mom, I would beg her to let me um, go to school with it on. And that was like, you know, a big fight every morning. You're not wearing makeup to school. You know, especially she was like, people are going to think I put it on you, you know. So I always had a passion for it. Great. So then you, you started your own business, Believe in Beauty. What was your inspiration? Yes. Well, first um, I worked in a bunch of salons, um, which I do like the salon atmosphere. And I got out of that, and um, I, I have two children, so I was home with them. And I said, you know, I want to get back into it. I, I really love it. But, um, you know, I, I said to myself, I don't want to work for someone. And I kind of like the one-on-one -on -one for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, it's all about bridal parties and photo shoots. And, and that's fun. And I'm, I'm in different places all the time, so I like that. But there's something about the one-on-one -on -one, um, that means a lot to me. Um, I deal also with not everyone who's always so glamorous or bright. I deal with, um, you know, people that are sick, um, that have cancer, and their hair's growing back, and, you know, we're playing around with a wig um, sometimes, you know, for events and stuff, and they want the one-on-one. -on -one. They don't want to be somewhere where everyone is looking at them. And it's the same thing with transgender and gay. You know, um, sometimes some of them love being in a salon, and sometimes... They love the one-on-one -on -one where they can just be them and not feel that anyone's judging them because, unfortunately, um, that's how society is today. Yeah, it's true. So, so tell everyone what you do. You're a makeup artist. Yes. Um, so I am a makeup artist, um, a hair artist, um, and a massage therapist, and I love, I love all of it. And tell us about some of the services you provide. Um, so we do um, all occasion makeup from theater to performing brides, um, bridal shows, dance recitals. I mean, we, we do it all from tots and tiaras all the way up. Um, and the massage therapy, um, I, I do a lot with that. Um, some of my Clients um, are sick and have issues, car accidents. You know, I team up with chiropractors. Um, some is just for relaxation, <laughs> stress relief, which we all could use. <laughs> um, and then hair from, you know, brides to photo shoots, theater kind of goes with the makeup. So. All right. Well, we do have a before <clears throat> and after picture. This was a client of yours named Yen. You did her hair and makeup. This is the before picture for a photo shoot. Yes. And now let's see the after picture. So tell me about that. Um, she had a photo shoot for herself. Uh, she's working on a portfolio. And um, so she asked me, she said, I feel so comfortable with you. You know, I'd love to have you do it. Because, um, you know, not tooting my horn, I have a good personality. So everyone's joking and having fun. It's, um, you know, it's always like a nice atmosphere. So uh, we got her ready. And let me tell you, like, that was probably her, her second picture. Um, all of her pictures came out beautiful. She's beautiful. She has this thick hair. You know, she looks amazing. So she, she was easy. Okay, good. <laughs> and you do every type of client you can imagine. Yes. Um, I do have to bring up one thing that when it comes to hair, I know so many of us, including myself, 
go get your hair curled with the curling iron at this salon, and then you go home and you try to do it yourself, and we can never do it the way it's done at a salon. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> so Lisa was nice enough to make us a video, and she did a video for us, how to curl your hair with a curling iron. Ladies, thank, you could thank me later. <laughs> so let's show the video. Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Believe in Beauty, and I'm going to show you a real quick video today on how to curl hair. So my client has a ton of hair, and we don't have a lot of time. So I do just want to take this section and show you how to use a curling iron. So first you want to brush, make sure the hair is smooth and doesn't have any knots. You want to spray the hair. I like to spray before and after. Now, if you know that you want to have a nice curl that stays, especially for people's hair um, that doesn't hold a good curl, you want it to be greasy and a little dirty. That's very important for any type of curling, updos, or any hairstyling. So we have a section of hair. I'm going to spray it again. Today, I'm just using a Conair curling iron, which is something you guys could get. For yourselves at Harman or CVS, um, I'm sure any Sally's. Take a section of hair. You're going to open it, and you want let's see, this to be on top. You're going to come to the end, and then you are going to wrap the hair. And I try and spread it evenly. This way, the heat. It's kind of um, distributed evenly to get like a nice curl. You don't want to go too close, leaving a few inches from your scalp to the curling iron, which is important so you don't burn, especially your earlobes. And I don't like to leave it too long, but just long enough. You'll know once you touch this and you kind of can't touch it, that it's pretty good. Oh, make sure your curling iron is on. With these Conair, sometimes when you're touching over here, the button goes off really easily. So, I had to turn it back on. So let's try this again. Like this, you come to the end. If hair falls, that's okay. And as you do this, you'll get quicker and quicker. Practice makes perfect. The other thing too is um, you can go a little thicker, but if you want to have like a full head of nice curls, I like to take smaller sections. So even though that little section I took, you still see I'm taking very small amounts of hair. Come to the end. Sorry. Don't go too much to the end or you lose the hair like I just did. And you can tell the client to turn their head. You want to try and keep it parallel to your head as well if you're not working on someone and yourself. You can see your nice curls. Now, I like to also leave them. Some people um, like to pull them out a little bit. Oops, sorry. Okay. Some people like to pull them out a little bit. towards the end and you can do that but I like to leave them because sometimes as you curl they will fall down a little bit so I like to leave them there we go again come to the end twist not too close to the scalp again watching your ears and then you push here and it releases the curls you pull down. You can see how the curls look. The spray. So now again, I told you she has really thick hair. So we are not getting to all of it today. But you go and you take another small section and clip it up, spray. 
And when you're doing it yourself, a lot of times too, you'll see like, oh my God, is everything curled? You'll see that like everything's curled and you miss like one piece and you'll see it straight right there. So you just go in and you'll pull it. So it's not, it's not actually too hard. Come to the end. Another section Come to the end. And again, as you um, curl your hair, you'll get kind of like your own little system going. The other option too for like moms on the go or corporate people, you can do this at night. Um, spray it really, really well. Put it in like a little clip like this, just on top of your head. And it'll be curled in the morning, not as tight as like you just did it, but it's definitely still will be a nice style for you, something different. So now you have an idea, spray them. I like to spray every section after. Then you take another small piece and you just continue around the whole head. Little sections, and especially when you do it yourself, little sections so you know once this is all curled, you can move to the next, the next section. And I like to spray before and after. So thank you so much. And again, you can check out some videos on my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, Believe in Beauty. My website is BelieveInBeautyNJ.com. Thank you so much. And we're back with Lisa Burbruge, Believe in Beauty owner. Lisa, you also do hair extensions and you do all different types, but you do, you like the keratin hair extensions? Yes, they're um, keratin bonded on the ends, and um, we use 100% um, human hair. Um, the quality of the hair is so important because if you don't get them done right, after they're put in and once you start washing and applying heat, the hair feels horrible. So it's important to, um, to use the right hair. Um, and it's also important, because you don't want your hair to break, that when those bonds, they come a little bit bigger and you cut them. So the weight of the extension is very light and then you connect them. It's almost as thick as a match, and you connect them to the hair um, with a machine that gets hot, and then you, um, once it's heated, you roll them. And it takes a little bit to put in, um, probably anywhere between, I guess, three to four hours, depending. And um, they look amazing. A lot of brides do them, and the great thing is, you know, you can style them like your own hair, um, and they stay in um, between, about six months, if you really don't uh, overwash your hair, you could maybe get seven. You'll kind of know because the bonds get a little bit sticky and start sticking to each other. So then you know it's time to take them out or change them. Okay, great. And we have a picture of the carrot, of the, uh, we showed a picture of the, okay. the extensions already. Okay, so... We have a great surprise today. Lisa is going to make over her assistant, Krista. She's going to do makeup and hair. And when we come back from commercial break, we're going to show the before picture and then the after, of course, after the commercial. But during, commercial, um, during the makeovers, I'm going to be showing my celebrity interviews. I have three great people that I got to interview this summer at a celebrity softball game here on Long Island. I have Fran Capo, literally the fastest talking woman in the world. She won a few different world records in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the fastest talking female. I have Marissa Ann from The Voice, season three, amazing singer. And then I have the legendary Cow Sills. You know, they, you, they were supposed to be the original Partridge family. So you're going to see all three of those interviews during the makeover. So let's cut to a commercial, 
and get ready for everything. You smell so good, I won't have to bathe the next two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Here, laugh a little hard. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will take him. I would be proud to show you off your little old weirdo man. <laughs> Get a, get a new sweater. The worst dressed man here tonight. <laughs> Look, get that laugh. Get that laugh and get it in there tonight because nobody else is going to laugh like her. She's under drugs, all right? The United States is the number one fence provider on Long Island with the most inventory in stock, including vinyl, chain link, and a loose offers a custom powder-coated system that prevents rust throughout the life of the fence. We carry fence tools to the trade. We even stock wood, rail, and glass hardware as well. Shannon Gates has our very own patented locking system. The next time you need fencing of any sort, both commercial and private, give Shannon Gates a call at 631-392-4330. You can also visit our website at shannongatesinc.com. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. We are back, and this is Krista, Lisa's lovely assistant, and this is the before picture. So now we're going to do a makeover on Krista, and we'll show you the after. Hi, I'm here with Fran Capo. Hi, Fran. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? See, I said that very slowly, by the way. Yeah. Because what is, Fran is known for holding how many titles of the world record? Well, I, I'm the Guinness Book of World Records fastest talking female. I speak 603.32 words a minute, which comes out to 11 words a second. But I actually hold six world records, not all of them for fast talking. Those two are for fast talking, but I also did a book signing at the top of Kilimanjaro and a book signing down by the wreck side of the Titanic. So I get around. Do we have to do subtitles for this interview? Yeah, I think so. Oh, either that I could do like a sign language really, and they'll be like, what is she saying? You know? <laughs> that is so great. Thank you for so doing sad. that. <laughs> and Fran, you have a book out. Tell us I, all about it. Well, actually, I have uh, 18 books, but the book right now that I'm the, the most proud of is a book called Hopeville, the City of Life. This is actually the CD. It hit number 11 on Amazon as being compared to The Alchemist meets Think and Grow Rich. And the really cool thing about it is that people are reading it and then sponsoring the book to bring it into schools and to also bring it to the prisons because it teaches hope and uh, courage and how to follow your dreams. And the thing was, out of all the other, uh, out of all the books, the other ones I kind said, I'm going to write a book on TV, I'm going to write on this. This one came to me at 4 o'clock in the morning. I hear a voice in the middle of the night, and it goes, get up, you got to write a book. And I'm like, oh, great, now I'm hearing voices. I'm arguing at the voice at 4 o'clock. I don't know what you're talking about. And it goes, get up, you got a book that's got to change the world. It gives me the, the name of the book. I go back to sleep. The next day, I go to work on my other book. I can't type. Then all of a sudden, I said, oh, I should write the chapter, the title of this book. I write it for the next three hours. I write the book. I was in a car shop, and the guy goes, that was really weird. 
need you to move, you to breathe. I said, I think I just wrote a book. He's like, how do you not know? I said, I cannot tell you one thing that's in there. Find out. It's about a little boy that gets bullied, uh, a successful businessman donates everything, you know, to just building his business, a widowed mother, and a um, and so all of them, what they do together is they're giving up on life, and they say a prayer, an angel of light appears to them and tells them what they need to do to change their life and the town. So a whole site has been created about it, HopevilleTheCityOfLight.com, but I do that, I do motivational speaking, and you know, you play softball, you go, you know, fly board, you do crazy things in life. But the craziest thing that I read about you is where are you had your book signings. Tell me where they were. Oh, well, one book study I actually did at the top of the world at Kilimanjaro. I did a book signing there, and, and people got to the top of Kilimanjaro, and they'd be like, you know, well, what are you doing? I go, you're here, you're at the top. What are you doing? Buy a book. And so I did a book sign on top of Kilimanjaro. That picture circulates around the world. And I get an email out of the blue from Brian Day O'Connor, who happened to be Sandra Day O'Connor's son. And, um, and he goes, oh, I'm going down to the Titanic. I'm like, hey, any room for another person? So he goes, are you kidding? I said, I didn't know people could go down to the Titanic. So I figured if I was going down there, I might as well do something. So I did a book signing down by the wreck site of the Titanic. More people have been to outer space than down to the Titanic and then I figured well if I'm down there I should do something nice so I became an ordained minister so that I could be the first person to ever say a prayer down by the wreck side of the Titanic. That's great and Titanic sunk on my birthday. Did it really? Oh wow I, you should have told me I would have brought up a fish or a rock or something. I know I wish I had something. <laughs> when I went to see the Broadway show and they said it started sinking April 14th I said I never knew that on my birthday because I had the Broadway yes. show back out wow. years ago. And that's obviously something. And it, it's funny, it's not the ship that's actually lost the most lives, but it's the ship that is most famous for, you know, right. everybody knows about the Titanic. And to be able to be and go down there and see, you know, like all the, you know, see the, the bow of the ship, you know. And just know that what happened down there is just such a, it, it's a humbling feeling because the ship is two and a half miles down. Yeah. And I have a cup that I had, I know you're ready, I would have brought it. But it's six tons of pressure on every inch of the submersible. So you put a styrofoam cup on the outside and when it comes up, the cup is like this small to give you an idea of how much pressure of the ocean there is. But I have pictures and all that on my website, francapo.com. That's yeah. exactly what I was just going to ask you. You can see all these amazing things on francapo.com. Check everything out. I'm going to check it out later because she's so interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. And you have to be on my show hanging out with Heather at Madhouse TV. I would love it. You see, she invited me, so I'm coming out. She's just got to tell me the date, the time, blah, blah, blah. I'll show up. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm Italian. I'm going to give a kiss. Come on. Mwah. You know. <laughs>
which was my first time ever being exposed to like a horse show. People from all over the world were there, so it was really amazing. That's great, because you're going to be an international superstar. <laughs> and I just want to tell everybody about uh, Marissa Ann's, well, her genre is pop and R&B mostly. And um, you have your new release single, Blind, that just came out in July, right? Yes, I released it July 1st. I'm singing it tonight. So it's been it's been a busy couple months. That's great. And it's on iTunes? Yes, at iTunes.com slash Marissa Ann. Everybody download it on iTunes. It's amazing. She's singing it tonight here in Long Beach. And I don't want to give too much away because Marissa Ann's going to be on my show hanging out with Heather soon. And we're going to have a whole hour of interviewing and singing. It's going to be amazing. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so much. It was so great meeting you. And have a great show tonight. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Okay, bye. You're hanging out with Heather, and I'm here with the cow sales. I'm gonna get them in quick because they're gonna sing the national anthem here at the so Celebrity Softball Game to raise money for breast cancer. Yay! Mucho, mucho money. Mucho dinero. Okay, I did a lot of research on you guys. Okay, I hope you I pass want, the quiz. I want to introduce everybody. This is Paul. Hey. Hey. Paul. Susan, the little sister. Oh, no, that's me. And Bob. 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 Big brother. brother. Original. Starting in 1965. Whoa. Did you know they were supposed to be the Partridge family? I didn't. Tell me more. <laughs> no, we were. We were supposed to be the Partridge family, but uh, my brothers were too old and ugly at the time. They wanted to have me. And my father said no. They didn't want my mother. So Shirley Jones did it, and the rest is history. But I heard Shirley Jones came out to see you guys. Yeah, oh, yeah. Shirley Jones is the dearest, dearest She's the person. Lady ever. You know, when she started that uh, Partridge family, the, the first few times in, she was going, well, why aren't the councils doing this with me? And the producer said, they're not actors. Yeah, but you were the musicians, and they weren't. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Yeah, we had a band. So you guys started in high school, you had a couple of flops. Well, we had a couple of labels that dropped us by the time we were in junior year and everyone was kind of younger, so we had really incredibly uh, serious self-esteem problems yeah. when we were children. Then MGM signed us, and we had a hit, The Rain, The Park, and other things in 67, and everything opened up. The self-esteem all went up to where it's supposed to be. Sky high. You guys were up there with the monkeys and the Beatles. Well, yes, we were, right up there with the Beatles. Cowsills, Beatles, who, uh, who thinks of one without the other, right? Funny, I never think of the Beatles without thinking I of the Cowsills. I don't either. What's funny is that we're on the Happy Together Tour, and that's why we get to be here. We're out on a 56-city yes. tour all summer. And we're playing with a lot of bands, all these guys Susan mentioned, that uh, we all had hits with. We all actually were doing shows together back then, but being little kids, we never got to meet them, Heather. Really? Yeah, and now, being on this tour, we get to meet all these guys, and they knew us better than we knew. Them, oh, they knew me. Yeah. Yeah. Why they know you? Susan? Well, because we, we played with them, but we didn't hang out with them. These guys were much younger than these guys were, but I was eight years old, and they were all really hot and cute. She so was the girl. I used to stalk all these guys in their dressing rooms, and I still do. And a fun fact about Susan. She God, hold on. Fun fact. Whoa, Heather, me and you want to talk just a brief minute about that fun fact. Oh, just tell me what it is. Oh, okay, that you can go for it. Fun fact. Susan up with Michael Jackson. Yes. The two youngest Hello. top ten recording artists Woo! on their record, Woo! Indian Lake. Woo! Susan Jackson and Michael Kelso. Wow. <laughs> Yep, that's me. How did that feel to be the youngest recording artist? It was kind of interesting. I was watching Casey Kasem one morning at about 4 a.m. I uh, was up. What can I say? And uh, Casey said that uh, somebody had written in and asked him who the youngest female performing artist was on a top ten record back in five minutes with that answer. So I waited, and he a big picture of me came up on the screen. And I was sitting there at 4 in the morning going, what the hell? And there I was, and I found that out. It was a wonderful day. I'm sure it was. Oh, yeah. And I know you guys loved having mom and little sis in the group, right? Well, when we started the group, knows that's not the when case. we started the group, oh, yeah. you know, the idea was clearly we're going to be a hard rock group. Clearly, we're going to ask our mother to join us. I mean, and then what happened would. was the record company had a different idea. Well, somebody had a different Wait, idea. Uh, oh. Okay, but uh, they're, 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 it all worked out in the wash, didn't it? Yeah, seriously, when they brought her in, it made us different. 
We're the group with the mother. There was no you other. Lucky son of the a partridge. Gun. And then she, you know, had to take. Susan was eight, seven, or eight years old. I mean, you can't leave her home, so right. we gave her a microphone. And no, I know. by I'm that so time, we were full, that. full Monty at that point, yes. full blown. All right, and so um, what, one of the brothers is playing with the Eagles. Yeah, boys. the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. Yeah, our brother John is their drummer. Actually, he's been with them for about thirteen years. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, I had to ask you, okay. how many times <laughs> yeah. have you sang oh. The Rain, The Park, and other oh, things? I want to tell you something. I have said The Flower Girl way more often. And you have to be a real fan of the song to understand that comment. But how many times have we sang it? How many, how many times have we sung it? We've, we haven't sung it enough yet, okay. honestly. Oh, and, right. and we're very, very grateful for having these songs that, that are part of our lives. Otherwise, we wouldn't be out here, probably wouldn't even be here at this Celebrity Baseball game. And we thank you so much for being here because you're in the middle of your tour right now. And I know right after the game, you're probably heading back out. I know you have a show in New Jersey in a couple of days. Yeah, Pomona. Pomona. Yeah. Yeah. Come out be hanging see with Heather and Pomona, folks. Hanging with Heather. Uh, they're going to sing the national anthem soon, so yeah, stay tuned. They got to warm, gotta warm up their voices. Yeah, we got to warm up. Are we ready? Thank you so much. Thank it was great Heather. meeting you. Great hanging out with you. Great hanging with Heather, I'll tell you. Woo! Hang on. Now back to, you, Bill, at the yeah, back to you, Bill, at the station. Back to you, Bill, at the station. Got a bill at the Everyone sees you all. Okay, we are back, and we just did literally a 12-minute makeover, Lisa. That was amazing. <laughs> Let's show Krista. She's all made up. Hello. And Lisa, tell us what you did. Okay, so because we had such a short time, and this is important for um, moms that are on the go or corporate people that don't have a lot of time in the morning, so um, half up half down, whether you tease the top, um, is always real easy and simple. She does have foundation on. Um, we did a little bit of contouring um, with a highlighter on her, um, above on her cheekbones, and forehead and chin, a little bit on her nose. We quickly did some blush and blended quickly. Um, and then we did a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, this is a quick look. This is an evening, so it's nice and quick. You don't want to be too dark on your eyes. A little bit of black liquid eyeliner, mascara, and some, um, some lip gloss. So nice and easy, nice and quick. See what you could do in 12 minutes? OK, so now I want to ask Krista, who is Lisa's lovely assistant, what is a day in the life working with Lisa, like? A day with Lisa. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun, always. She has so much passion for what she does, so it's awesome getting to watch. She's taught me everything I know. So we'll wake up early, get all packed up, go to people's houses if they want it done at their house, or they come to us. And it's just always fun, and they look beautiful after. Seeing the transformation is like my favorite part. Aw, just yeah. like we did with you just <laughs> now. <laughs> so how long have you been working with Lisa? For about two years now. And you've learned everything. Yeah, learned everything. I go to school for economics. I graduate this year, and I'm going to go to hair school after and makeup to learn because... She's stuck. Yeah, because <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> That's great. So Lisa lets you work on people at the yes, shoots too? Yes. She's trained me first, obviously. Yep. Yeah. And then after. It all began. Krista was actually my babysitter first. Yeah. And I see the compassion <laughs> that she has for pets and children. And then I sucked her in. So on top of also helping me, she gets stuck with uh, phone calls and social media stuff. She's of stuck course. doing a lot. That's good. <laughs> so thank you, Krista. But you, just, you just gave her her career path. Exactly. She loves it. Thank you. No, oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> All right, well, I do have a question from a Facebook fan, Riley Jones. She wants to know, Lisa, what is the best waterproof eyebrow pencil that you could use that'll stay on all day? What do you recommend? Um, you know, there's so many out there, and some are so expensive, and some are cheaper. But I do like certain drugstore brands. Um, they, I feel like they work really well. Um, I like Maybelline. Maybelline has a good one. Um, 
and L'Oreal as well. And um, <laughs> I like that you can wear them to the pool too. This <laughs> summer was hot and I didn't have any smudging or anything underneath. So I do like those too. Okay. So L'Oreal and Maybelline. Yes. Okay, good. So Riley Jones, go to the CVS or Rite Aid. <laughs> Harmon, you can use your coupons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we do the drum roll for our contest winner yes. of these amazing <laughs> makeup brushes that Lisa's giving away today? Sure. And Lisa, tell us about these amazing brushes. So these are like the new things. And if you watch YouTube, every single person is using them. Um, they are amazing. First of all, they're very, very, very soft. Um, they are absolutely amazing for contouring and blending. Um, you know, especially like the neck um, is what I like that the different sizes um, are awesome because they fit in all the places that they need to go. So these brushes are a must. Um, what I have are they a, made out of? They are synthetic uh, hair, but it is very, very soft. Um, the ones with like horse hair and stuff like that, they are a lot more pricier. These could um, run you about $100, and we have a special uh, promotion because of you, Heather, um, for $40. And I have been, you know, selling them like crazy. You will love them. All right, so we are giving away. We had about 12 entries on Facebook. I've been running the contest for the last two weeks. Everyone's name is in this little thing. I'm going to have Krista pick the name, and you are getting... The makeup brush set, which is packaged, and we'll, I'll, I'll mail it to you. So let's see who the lucky winner is. You ready, Krista? Beautiful. Shake it around. <laughs> shake it around. And just announce that lucky winner, because I want that makeup brush set. Laura That's Narducci. Laura Yay, Narducci Laura. won the makeup set. Laura Narducci. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> Lucky. All right, Laura, you'll get that makeup set, that brush set, and let's just show her name <laughs> so everyone knows it's true. <laughs> All right, that's amazing. And we want to go to the next uh, slide that I have for the show specials that Lisa's giving away today. They're here on the table. Lisa's giving special show rates. You have to mention you saw Hanging Out with Heather, the show. She's giving away the makeup palette, which is originally $45, and she's giving it away for $30. She's giving away this brush set that's normally a $100 value for $40. She's giving away the lipstick organizer. Um, they're usually $60 and up. She's giving it away <laughs> for $40. And these clips, you want to show them? They have Marilyn Monroe yes. on them. I love Marilyn Monroe. Who doesn't? Um, so, yeah, these are just, you know, they look really cute. Um, again, for a quick something in the morning, kind of like dressing up your hair. So and She's giving them away <laughs> for $12 today. So you have to reach out to her online. Tell us your website and your Facebook page to reach out to you for the sp show specials. Okay, so that uh, Facebook is um, Believe in Beauty by Lisa Marie, and you can message me there, and uh, we could uh, take payment, and I'll get it sent right out to you. And the website is www.believeinbeautynj.com. Okay, again, that's www.believeinbeautynj, like New Jersey, dot com. So you could contact her through her website or through her Facebook page, Believe in Beauty by Lisa Marie. Contact her, say, I want the brushes for $40, or I want the makeup palette, or the hair clips or the lipstick holder, because she's giving these, only for the show, she's giving these discounts. And Lisa, you're also discounting the big parties that you do, <coughs> which is br uh, bridal parties, bachelorette parties, mom's night out which is probably the best fun it is. party to we do. We have so much fun. <laughs> yes, we do. And you're giving 20% off all parties that, parties, that yes. book with you and mention the show. So again, you go on her Facebook page and her website and say, I saw your show. I want you to come do my mom's night out. You do the bachelor party, mom's night out, 
uh, bridal parties. Um, we do little uh, spa things, which include some massage and stuff like that. I kind of customize some packages. And then we have Makeup 101. Tell us um, about that. So that is a group of women. Um, and, you know, you have your little spread out wine and cheese. And I bring um, some makeup and show you how to do... Um, you know, whatever you choose, a smoky eye or, you know, whatever the topic is that um, everyone wants to learn. And you bring your makeup bag so I can kind of show you what you need and what you don't and what you need to get. That's, so that's, that's pretty so, cool. That's great because so many people, you know, they don't really know how to, even their coloring, I'm sure you, you teach them about the colors they should be using for their skin tone, yes. how important it is. And blending. Yes. <laughs> Blending's a biggie. <laughs> but, you know, once they learn a makeup tip, like I've learned from just, like, going to the beauty counters, like you mentioned MAC and Smashbox are one of your favorite makeups, yes. and mine as well. And I learn by going to them, and when they do my makeup, I'm like, oh, I want to watch you doing it, you know? Yeah, so you can learn, yep. And you just learn. But that those makeup parties sound amazing, your classes. Yes. And I'll come to Long Island for you. <laughs> and Lisa does it in New York and New Jersey. Um, so go ahead and book a party with her. And do you want to get a little touch base? Let's t we'll touch on a little more of your massage therapy. Yeah. You're a licensed massage therapist. Licensed massage. Um, doing all the hair stuff and everything. Um, I love helping people. So I wanted to help people but also take it to a different level. Um, so with that is what I love and what's so special to me. The brides and the people that you would normally see one time because not everyone is famous and doing crazy things that you see them repeatedly um, so with that um, I like that I connect with people through that and then they end up contacting me to stay in touch so I have that relationship but it's very therapeutic uh, massage is very important for so many things stress relief um, which so many people have I think like 99% <laughs> especially um, in our shoulders um, anxiety um, sleep issues so it really does help so many things and um, I actually have a great mentor Tom from Zen Massage Therapy um, in Paramus uh, he was my teacher uh, back in school and that was when I was 21 and for all these years we uh, we stayed close and he's just really an amazing person so he helps me a lot so I love it good um, and you also have a new product line you're launching Yes, we're hoping to get it up and running um, like yesterday. No, um, we're looking to um, get that probably by spring. Um, certain items will be appearing on the website, uh, lipsticks, glosses, and liners. Uh, we're starting with those. And then we have um, some like holistic, like organic stuff, which is like lip glosses and um, body butters and stuff like that. Um, which is all organic products. So I'm excited about that. I'm very excited <laughs> for you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a very quick commercial break and come back with more with Lisa. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup.
We're back with Lisa. Lisa, tell us uh, your favorite types of clients you work that you like working on. Um, it's hard to say. I really um, love all aspects of what I do, but um, I do love brides because it's such a special day, um, once in a lifetime, and you know, so <laughs> once. Well, once or twice. <laughs> yeah, once or twice. It depends, but we hope for once. Um, and I do love also uh, performing because it lets, um, it lets me really be an artist. And that's part of, like, the fun of it, you know? Okay. Now, you did mention to me that you want to really gain the LGBT community. And for those of you who don't know what that stands for, that is lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. And of course, these topics are coming up a lot more these days, which is a very good thing. We want to get that out there. We want everybody in this genre to be noticed and proud of who they are. And you, want to, you really want them as part of your business community. So tell us why it's so important to you. There's a few reasons. Um, one is now that um, they are you know, getting married and stuff, not a lot of artists are marketing that. And I think that's important, you know, for them, it's a special day. And um, they want to be treated and should be treated just like everybody else. And that's important. Um, so that's really important to me. And, you know, believe in beauty, it means so many things to me. And, you know, that's something I want them to believe in who they are and be comfortable in their skin. Um, as I want that for everyone and it's so hard today as women or you know being gay or transgender or being a certain um, color skin or religion um, you know we are separated and you know everyone has to realize how beautiful they are and beauty really starts within you know especially um, you know with women today we, we all have that issue I've been battling with my weight since I had kids and you know, it used to bother me, and I've learned to just embrace it and try to enjoy every stage of life because, again, it comes from within, and what you portray to people is really what they see. It's not necessarily all about glamour and what's on the outside, especially now I have a daughter, and I want to teach her that as well. It's important. Yes, it's very important. And, you know, of course, we completely support that community um, and just tell us in general what do you love about what you do oh, um, everything I love like the hustle and bustle and you know the rushing is part of it and I actually even love that um, I love my clients and um, connecting with them um, I love the before and after I love when they see the after you know how excited they are and um, you know, it's, it's really amazing. I feel that even though, 
you know, it's just makeup and hair and massage therapy. I feel that I am um, changing lives. You're making a difference. Yeah. Well, you are doing a bunch of bridal shows that are coming up. Yes. And you mentioned that you will offer some free passes to people. Yes. So there's uh, a few that I will be at um, in northern New Jersey, and I will post them on my website. The big show is January 8th, which is um, Sunday, um, kicking off the new year. Um, that's at the Tropicana. and um, Atlantic um, City. Yes. I'm honored to um, have been asked to be in this show. It's a big show. Um, and I want to thank um, Joe and Mike from Planet Expo. They are amazing uh, to work with. They're really nice, and they, they take time with you, and, you know, it's a really great company, so I'm glad I'm on board with them. And I would like to, um, I have 20 complimentary passes, so I would like to give them to some brides if they're interested uh, for the show that day. So they can come hang out with me. They can see what I do. They can meet some of my artists. And, I mean, it's just going to be fun. We have tons of vendors coming out. Okay, and again, tell them your Facebook and contact page for all of these things to get free passes. It's the first come, first serve, the first 20 people that yes. reach out to Lisa get passes. And it's not only for just the Atlantic City show. You have other bridal shows, too. Yes, and they do have some passes for that, too. They can kind of tell me um, through Facebook messaging, or you can send a message on my website, um, you know, which shows you might be interested when you check out uh, the other locations. And I could uh, get some passes, complimentary passes for them as well. And what will it be like for them? What will the experience be? Oh, it's amazing. You're going to see uh, beautiful gowns. Uh, we have a great fashion show. And um, other photographers, even though I have a great promotion with one, uh, Brett Josephs, um, on my website right now. But they can meet uh, other photographers and you know, people for their cake. I mean, it's just really awesome to get out and even just kind of socialize with other brides and stuff. It's nice. So, um, yeah, you can go to my website, www.believeinbeautynj.com, which uh, we just launched the website. And um, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I have to um, <laughs> applaud um, um, the guy who did it. He's awesome. Um, Frankie Styles, so you can uh, find his information too at inf uh, it's info design it up now dot com. He did a great job, so thank you, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so believe in beauty. Summarize what <sighs> that means to you. You when did you launch the business? Um, February. So okay. it's not even a year. Okay. And we've come a long way so far with it not even being a year. So uh, we're doing a bunch of different charity stuff, um, which you can check out, uh, which means a lot to me. Um, I like to give back to, to my community. And um, I have some help with that, too, by uh, the SOET group, who's helping me uh, get into some of those charities to really help and give back. Um, so Believe in Beauty is just to be you, be comfortable in your own skin, whether people accept you or they don't accept you, you know what, it doesn't matter. Be you, be beautiful, and that's all that matters. Beauty comes from within, and when you find, find that in yourself, everything else will, will just come into place and people will follow. Okay, now Lisa is growing so quickly that she's hiring. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what positions you're hiring for. Um, oh, everywhere, everywhere. I'm looking for some um, licensed massage therapists, you must be licensed. Um, I do also do a background check, it's very important. Um, have to spend a little time with me. Um, and I'm looking for New York, New Jersey, um, to kind of cover certain areas, because we do, uh, do a lot of house calls and stuff. And then also, I'm looking for some um, hair artists, makeup artists, and um, you know, the interview process, it's not about your work, um, being um, a certain way, you know, your work obviously has to be good, but it's about personality because my artists, um, you know, have to really feel and care for people. That's important to me. Okay, so, so if you want to be a makeup artist, hairstylist, or massage therapist for Lisa, contact her through her Facebook page or website because she is hiring because she's growing so rapidly which is a great thing. Are you applying, Heather? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the time. <laughs> Maybe 
You have someone right here, Krista. Yes, <laughs> Krista's very busy. <laughs> yeah, Krista's definitely busy, so we need more help. <laughs> but that's wonderful that you're growing. I'm very excited for your product launch, your new line. So you're going to keep everyone updated on yes. Facebook, on your website. Yep, and I also have on my website weekly blogs and just um, different tips and videos and my YouTube channel too. So if you go to the website um, on the bottom, um, everything is linked right there. So Instagram, everything's there. So, okay, great. And everyone who, if you haven't got, if you didn't get the chance to see the show live today, we will have it posted on YouTube. You could check out my Facebook page. I will have the winner's name posted there also, and get in touch with her. It is facebook.com/slash hanging out with Heather. You could go to my YouTube channel, hanging <coughs> out with Heather. And you could find Lisa on her Facebook page, Beauty, Believe in Beauty by, Lisa, by Marie. Lisa Marie. And her website, again, is Believe in Beauty, NJ, NJ like New Jersey, dot com. <laughs> Jersey Girls. <laughs> Contact her for all these show specials today. These are amazing products at great, great prices. I'm very excited about them. I'm definitely getting that brush set. <laughs> and I want to thank Lisa for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having us. Um, you know, we had a great time. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you. It was great meeting you too, Krista. It was nice meeting you, Heather. <laughs> and uh, I, I see a great career path for you as oh, well. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to just wrap it up. If you, there's anything else you want to say, Lisa, I definitely just chance. need books for my children. So don't let me leave without them. Uh, Lisa's ordering my children's <laughs> book and giving me a plug. My Bullied yes. at the Dog Park children's book that's about bullying, which, again, goes against, you know, what we were talking about before, that don't ever bully anyone because everyone deserves to be who they are. They don't have to fit in. They could be themselves, and you do not have the right to bully anybody. You have, you are you, they are themselves, and just be nice to everybody, have respect for everybody, treat everybody with respect and kindness. That's, the world needs it so much right now. Yes, definitely. And that's the end of our show. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. My next show, I have the great pop sensation, internet sensation, Jenna Rose coming on October 14th. Um, I'm sorry, Monday, October 17th, Jenna Rose will be here singing. That's Monday, October 17th, but check it all out on my Hanging Out with Heather Facebook page. All right, Lisa. All right, thank you so much. We had much. a great show. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>